Well, hello, my name is Mike Jacko with Minerian Real Estate Promo with another Flip It Friday video. And today I want to talk about the Mayo formula or maximum allowable offer. Now, all rehabbers, all rehabbers buy based on the Mayo formula, even if they've never even heard the term Mayo. And what Mayo stands for, M-A-O, maximum allowable offer. And so that's just, the, basically what that is, that's our cash price. That's the most we can pay for a property and still turn a profit. All right, so that's why it's, it's coined or dubbed the Mayo formula, maximum allowable offer. All right, so other investors, even if they've never heard of it and they're cash buyers, they're still, they're going to use their own formula um, but I've seen at least a half a dozen different formulas over the years, and they all break down to basically the same net result, where the offer itself is pretty close to what everyone else's offer is, is going to be to turn a profit on a fix and flip rehab property. Not a, not a buy and hold, not using the burst strategy, not a rental property, but I'm talking about a full blown fix and flip. And it's important to come up with that number. And I use that number and that calculation for every single one of my properties. So the Mayo formula, maximum allowable offer is 70, or ARV, after repair to value. So what's the property worth after it's all done? So ARV, times 70% minus repairs, right? So that 70%, basically what we're doing is we're taking 30% off of that. And then that 30% is gonna have our hard fixed costs and it's also got our profit margins built right in it. So whatever, the average profit margin is gonna be 10 to 12% on a property and that's where that 70% has got about a 10 to 12% cushion in there using and then the, the repairs, you know, you gotta, you've got to come up with your repair numbers. Those got to be accurate. And then your after repair value has to be accurate. But as long as those two numbers are accurate, or at least close to accurate, that's going to give you a really solid mail or maximum allowable offer. Now, it's ARV, after repair value, times 70% minus repairs. Now, that 70%, there's some adjustments you need to make into that 70%. So when the market is really hot like it is right now, we're actually at 75 to 80%. Right? So I'm using that 75 to 80%, which means there's less of a profit margin in there, but we're in a really hot market and values keep going up. So we're, all, we're compensating for doing that. Now, if the market turns and it starts becoming a buyer's market and starts getting softer, then you need to go down to 70% or even 65%. But that 70% is a pretty historical norm and it's a very safe number. And as we are reaching the peaks of the real estate markets, I believe it's more and more important for people to follow the true 70% Mayo formula than it ever has been before, because that's gonna be your safety net right there. So if you are buying at 75 or 80%, and then let's say it takes you six or nine months to get the property gone through all the renovation, get the property back on the market, in that amount of time, the market literally could change and start in a downward swing. And, and, and on an average year, and the, the worst we've seen in, in tough markets when the markets have dropped is a, about a five to 7% drop in a year, right? Well, if you take almost a year and you drop that five to 7% and you were working on a five to 7% profit margin because you were at 75 or 80% for your Mayo formula, well, now you've got no profit left in the deal. Right. And that's why that 70% also gives you a protection barrier. So you've got a cushion. So even if you buy now and six months later the market's turned, you still have a profit margin. Maybe not as much as you originally planned on, but you still got that profit margin. Where if you're at 75 or 80, that profit margin is dwindling down and your safety net has disappeared. So keep that in mind. Know and understand the Mayo formula and figure out what how to tweak that to work just right for you in your market and under your circumstances. So with that, if you like these videos, please hit the like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys back here next week with another Flip It Friday video.